Renewable energy is gaining ground across Trinidad and Tobago. In this week's Keeping It Green segment, while Ian Wallace looks at Solar Power Park at the nation's airport. Brought to you by Flow, inspired by our harshest critics. You, rediscover Flow at discoverflow.co. Solar energy is gaining ground for small and large projects across Trinidad and Tobago. From homeowners supplementing their electricity needs and also using rooftop solar water heaters to solar-powered gas stations where electric cars are being charged using the sun's energy. Now large projects using solar energy are coming on stream, such as this solar park at Piaco International Airport, the first of many for Trinidad and Tobago. According to the airport's authority, it will power up to 4% of the airport's electricity needs. We have is a 0.5 megawatt plant and we actually have 952 solar PV panels installed on the site. Mr Murray notes the airport is contributing to the nation's 2030 goal to reduce carbon emissions by 15%. We expect to produce 767,000 kilowatt hours annually with the potential to mitigate against 500 metric tons of CO2 emissions per year. He adds that building on this former green field will not significantly alter the local environment. Part of the, the work that are being done is to ensure that the water can run off easily. We also plan after the construction to revegetate the site. Returning as much green space to the site is important because rising temperatures in Trinidad and Tobago are driving more extreme weather events. Green diplomat of the European Union, Zay Alves Pereira, says it's a noticeable change. I've been told by all my friends here that 10 years ago we didn't have these uh, weather patterns, we didn't have th 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 these type of floods that stop uh, Port of Spain uh, from one minute to the other. The European Union, a funding and a technical partner, and the airport's authority see solar energy as the future. The solar farm is going to be very visible because everybody sooner or later will land or take off from Piarco. And uh, the perception towards uh, renewable energy amongst the citizens will become more familiar. Large solar farms and other renewable energy projects are becoming important for Trinidad and Tobago. The country needs to reduce or offset its carbon dioxide emissions because it is a major producer and exporter of commodities such as ammonia and methanol to the European Union for fertilizer manufacture. I'm Ian Wallace, Green 4, TBT News.